Meanwhile, coronavirus-related unemployment claims are hitting record highs in Ohio, and experts say this could be a make-or-break week for both businesses and workers facing April 1st deadlines to pay their rent, pay their bills, leaving many teetering on the financial edge waiting for a government stimulus package to hit. Our Five on Your Side investigator Joe Pakadak is live. Now, Joe, there's a tough road ahead for so many of us. Well, Rob, this week there are people in our area that could see an interruption in their income. And experts say if there are delays in federal help, it could hurt some big time. This could be worse than 2008. Policy Matters Ohio with its latest report. State jobless claims at a record high 187,000 just last week, up from just 7,000 the week before. Experts say with thousands in Northeast Ohio losing their income and likely waiting weeks for unemployment and federal coronavirus stimulus money, the gap will likely force families living paycheck to paycheck to make some tough choices. I think this shows that so many in Ohio and, and in America have been living on the brink for years. Uh, many people never recovered from the last recession. Policy Matters Ohio says it's essential the moratorium on evictions, foreclosures, and utility shutoffs continue or be extended to bridge the gap. The, the closure of a lot of service uh, sector businesses, it's not going to be just two, three weeks. It looks like it is going to be uh, for longer than that. Economists at Cleveland State University say it's going to be a pivotal week for some local businesses waiting for federal loan aid. And a lot of small businesses might be able to weather a few weeks, a month, but you know, if if this becomes a push out to two, three months or longer, then it's a, you know, there's just too many of them are not going to be able to come back. And some experts wondering if there's ever a point where continuing to flatten the coronavirus growth curve could exact too big an economic price. How much economic pain are we willing to put on households and individuals who are least able to actually take that burden on? And a study released by Wompley that uses credit card data shows that restaurants are down some 46 percent when it comes to revenue, Rob, compared to the week beforehand. Uh, Ohio hotels down, Rob, 110 percent compared to last week. Yeah, but Joe, you know this. There are industries that are seeing huge growth right now as well. That's right. The same study showing grocery stores up by 32 percent. Get this, Rob. Ohio liquor stores up 203 percent compared to the week before when it comes to gross revenue. You can catch that study on our News 5 app. Wow. Thank you, Joe.